Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Prepare yourself for 30 thought-provoking questions covering various aspects of the Holy Bible. Before we start, please subscribe and like this video to help us spread the Word of God. After the quiz, share your score in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We also have an exciting opportunity for you. Click the Join button to become a channel member. As a member, you'll get access to exclusive content that will enhance your biblical journey, and you'll be supporting us in sharing the Word of God with more people. Are you ready? Let's jump into the video. Question 1. How did Moses ensure victory against Amalek? A. By praying. B. By fighting. C. Holding up his hands. D. Blowing trumpets. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 11. Question 2. What did Moses break in anger when he came down from Mount Sinai? A. The golden calf. B. The pillars of the tabernacle. C. The stone tablets of the commandments. D. Pharaoh's decree. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands, and brake them beneath the mount. Book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 19. Question 3. Who succeeded Moses as the leader of the Israelites? A. Aaron B. Caleb C. Joshua D. Eleazar Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verse 9. Question 4. What was the name of King Saul's daughter who became David's wife? A. Abigail B. Bathsheba C. Michael D. Leah Time to think. The right answer is letter C. First book of Samuel, chapter 18, verse 27. Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew of the Philistines two hundred men. And David brought their foreskins, and they gave them in full tale to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave him Michal his daughter to wife. Question 5. What was David's hometown? A. Hebron B. Jerusalem C. Bethlehem D. Nazareth Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 
1 Samuel 16, 1. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil, and go. I will send thee to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. Question 6. Who was the mother of Solomon? A. Michael B. Bathsheba C. Abigail D. Ahinoam Time to think. The right answer is letter B. 2 Samuel 12, 24. And David comforted Bathsheba his wife, and went in unto her, and lay with her. And she bare a son, and he called his name Solomon, and the Lord loved him. Question 7. Who was David's sister? A. Michal B. Jeriote C. Zeruiah D. Bathsheba Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Chronicles 2.16 And their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail and the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai and Joab and Asahel, three. Question 8. What did Solomon do to honor his father David? A. Built a temple. B. Wrote psalms. C. Established a feast. D. Named a city after him. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Then Solomon began to build the house of the Lord at Jerusalem in Mount Moriah, where the Lord appeared unto David his father, in the place that David had prepared in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. 2 Chronicles 3 Bancham 1 Question 9. For how many days and nights did Moses fast on Mount Sinai? A. Forty days and forty nights. B. 30 days and 30 nights. C. 20 days and 20 nights. D. 50 days and 50 nights. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments, Exodus 34, 28. Question 10. Which plague involved darkness over the land of Egypt? A. First plague. B. Fifth plague. C. Seventh plague. D. Ninth Plague Time to think. The right answer is letter D. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Exodus 10, 21. Question 11. Who was the grandson of Abraham who had twelve sons, who later became the twelve tribes of Israel? A. Isaac B. Ishmael C. Jacob 
D. Esau. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And these are the names of the sons of Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Genesis 35.23. Question 12. Who was the wife of Abraham and the mother of Isaac? A. Hagar B. Keturah C. Sarah D. Leah Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Genesis 21 2. Question 13. What was Jesus' response when asked if only a few people would be saved? A. Many are called, but few are chosen. B. Fear not, for many will find the way. C. Strive to enter through the narrow door. D. All who seek shall find. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, verse 24. Question 14. On which mountain did Moses die? A. Sinai B. Nebo C. Olives D. Zion Time to think. The right answer is letter B. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Deuteronomy 34, 5-6 Question 15. Who was the mother of Ishmael, the son of Abraham? A. Sarah B. Hagar C. Keturah D. Rebecca. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. Book of Genesis. Chapter 16, verse 15. Question 16. What did Jesus say when Lazarus came out of the tomb? A. Arise and walk. B. Lazarus, come forth. C. Be healed. D. Wake up and live. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. John 11:43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, "Lazarus, come forth." Question 17. 
What did Jesus feed to a crowd of 4,000 men besides women and children? A. Seven loaves of bread and a few little fishes. B. Five loaves of bread and two fishes. C. Ten loaves of bread and five fishes. D. Three loaves of bread and seven fishes. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Matthew 15 year 34, 38. And Jesus saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and gave thanks, and brake them, and gave to his disciples, and the disciples to the multitude. Question 18. How did David react when he was informed of Absalom's death? A. He wept. B. He was relieved. C. He was angry. D. He was indifferent. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Second, Samuel 18.33 And the king was much moved, and went up to the chamber over the gate, and wept. And as he went, thus he said, O my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would God I had died for thee, O Absalom, my son, my son. Question 19. Who was David's first wife? A. Michal B. Bathsheba C. Abigail D. Ahinoam Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Verse Samuel 18.27 Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew of the Philistines two hundred men. And David brought their foreskins, and they gave them in full tale to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave him Michal his daughter to wife. Question 20. What did David eat in the house of God? which was not lawful for him to eat. A. The shoe bread. B. The Passover lamb. C. The sacrificial meat. D. Mana. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Matthew 12, 3, 4 But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did, when he was an hungered, and they that were with him, how he entered into the house of God, and did eat the shoe bread, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests? Question 21 how long did it take for Solomon to build his own house? A. 23 years B. 13 years C. 20 years D. 10 years Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And Solomon was building his own house thirteen years, and he finished all his house. Warn Kings 7-1 Question 22. 
What was the fate of the temple Solomon built? A. Destroyed by enemies. B. Abandoned. C. Turned into a palace. D. Became a historic monument. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which is the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, a servant of the king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem. And he burnt the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, and every great man's house burnt he with fire. Sue Kings 25, 8-9 Question 23. What was the reaction of the people to Solomon's wisdom and wealth? A. Envy B. Astonishment C. Indifference D. Rebellion Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And all the earth sought to Solomon, to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. 1 Kings 10.24 Question 24. What was put in the Ark of the Covenant? A. Golden Calf B. Aaron's Rod C. Ten Commandments D. Mana Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And thou shalt put into the ark the testimony which I shall give thee. Book of Exodus, chapter 25, verse 16. Question 25. What was the original name of Abraham before God changed it? A. Abram B. Nahor C. Terah D. Isaac Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. Genesis 17.5 Question 26. Where did Abraham offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice, but was stopped by an angel of the Lord? A. Mount Horeb B. Mount Moriah C. Mount Sinai D. Mount Nebo Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Genesis 22, 2. Question 27. What did Abraham give to King Melchizedek as a tithe after his victory over the kings? A. Silver and gold. B. Cattle and sheep. C. Precious stones. D. A tenth of all he had. Time to think.
The right answer is letter D. And he gave him tithes of all. Genesis 14, 20. Question 28. What did Abraham buy from Ephron the Hittite as a burial place for his wife Sarah? A. A field. B. A cave. C. A garden. D. A mountain. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. That he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he hath, which is in the end of his field. For as much money as it is worth, he shall give it me for a possession of a burying place amongst you. Genesis 23, 9. Question 29. What was the name of the city that Abraham lived in before he journeyed to the land of Canaan? A. Ur of the Chaldees B. Sodom and Gomorrah C. Bethlehem D. Jerusalem Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees, to go into the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran, and dwelt there. Genesis 11.31 Question 30. What did David do for a living before becoming king? A. Shepherd B. Carpenter C. Fisherman D. Soldier Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Samuel 16.11 and Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.